I'm going to explain to you how pilots use basically a text message system between the aircraft and air traffic control to avoid enormous thunderstorms in the middle of, say, the Atlantic, just like this bad boy here. Um, so yesterday when I was traveling from uh, Manchester to Orlando, we had pretty much a thunderstorm. It was pretty probably bigger than that, up to 49,000 feet. It was about 60 to 80 miles across and it was right on our track. So I explain how we would avoid that. Uh, you can't really use the normal radio. It's out of range when you're a couple hundred miles from the coastline. So as I say, we can use HF radios, which are really um, crackly, not great. So we use this text message system. We were logged onto New York, um, put in a quick request. Can we go 20, 25 miles right of track to avoid a thunderstorm? And they come back um, once they've checked through all their system, make sure there's no other aircraft in the way, no closed airspace, and they say, Yes, you are clear to do 25, 25 miles of right of track to avoid the thunderstorm. That's great. What if they say no? Because I know that the fear of flying mind immediately says, what if they say no? Do you then have to fly through the thunderstorm? Absolutely not. Um, so do you, have you, are you out of options? We couldn't go left on this occasion because the thunderstorm was too big to the left. We would have gone miles and miles uh, off track. So what I basically would have thought of then is I would have said, can we make a, a bigger cut? Or can we go on a heading, which will take us about 30 to 40 miles right? That might get us the clearance. If it doesn't, um, the aircraft are already spaced on the ocean by, you know, something like 10 minutes spacing if you're um, following somebody or 30 to 60 miles anyway. So the likelihood of an aircraft being in our way and not allowing us to um, avoid this thunderstorm is pretty slim. But let's just to, to give you reassurance. So we would then say, OK, if there's an aircraft in the way, could we climb 2000 feet or could we descend 2000 feet? Would that clear us? Uh, and that sometimes would say, yep, you're now cleared. Descend 2000 feet. Now you can go 30 miles right a track. As soon as we're past that thunderstorm, we give them a nice wide berth because the air around them can be a bit turbulent. We put the seatbelt signs on to make sure that you guys down the back are safe. Uh, and once we're clear of that thunderstorm, we would then look to pick up track. So we'd look for a name, I don't know, say a, a reporting point, Bumbo, further down our route. Can we go direct to Bumbo? Air traffic would come back on the text message system again. Yes, you're cleared, uh, Bumbo, then continue your flight tram route. That's basically how we uh, avoid these thunderstorms, keep you safe, to keep you clear from other aircraft, this weather. Uh, and that's hope that gives you a bit of reassurance. I've written my pilot companion. It's about two and a half hours long of little mini chapters that talk you through all little things like this. So when you fly, you can listen to a stage when the engine starts. You could do it one when there's de-icing, one when there's turbulence, there's coping methods. If you're interested in that, drop a comment, pilot. We've done an amazing landing page uh, and it explains it all there. You can decide if it's for you. Uh, and with that, it'll help you fly happy and fly safe.